Hey everybody, Garrett Claridge here. Today we're going to be checking out a pair of white van scam speakers from the 90s. These are the Acoustic Audio HCD-12. We have a three-way ported cabinet with a polypropylene 12-inch woofer. So we have a 3-inch tweeter and a 4-inch mid-range. And a volume control for the tweeter level. At the back we're just seeing the standard banana jacks. I think these were in a flood at some point. They're starting to come apart. I almost forgot about these things actually because I was given them a while ago with uh, actually these speakers here that I use quite often and I really like. <laughs> but <laughs> I forgot that these were part of the package. You might have noticed a funny paint job on these. It's because they were painted upside down. <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> it's black on the bottom. <laughs> Now I only use these for a short amount of time, but I can already tell they're not worth the space they take up. So we're going to be playing around with these things and seeing what they can handle today. And uh, we're actually going to be using a new amplifier again. Uh, this, uh, this juice one was the one I got last time, but guess what guys? We're back into PV territory. <laughs> this is the PV1500. Uh, not like the best PV amp. This thing has had a hard life. I don't know where the heck it was, but when I got it, it was just totally covered in rust. Everything's just rusted out on it. Anyway, it works. <laughs> So I noticed in just a very short time playing around with these, they're very inefficient. Like, I've never had any other speakers this loud on this amp, because, <laughs> and they're still not that loud. But uh, there's a ton of mid-range, and uh, yeah, I think the mid-range is the most apparent frequency going on here. Now these things are just brutal, like, you gotta turn the mid-range and the highs right down. Try again. Crank the bass! such a harsh equalizer to make them listenable. <laughs> I'll leave the treble in the mid-range flat and then crank the bass. So, yeah. <laughs> So they're not the worst things ever, but they need a good amount of amplifier power. And uh, if you have speakers like this, what is, what's the amplifier you're going to be using with it? Like really, um, <laughs> you're going to get so much damn distortion and you're probably going to end up blowing that mid-range right away because like all the power goes right to the mid-range, I swear. They have like the wrong crossover components in there. So I noticed there was a bit of glue here. It looks like there used to be a sticker. I'm going to take a look online and see what I can find to see what that used to look like. Okay, here's a good photo I found of the up close of this badge. Absolutely hilarious frequency response. This is, that just, no. Um, <laughs> it's kind of hard to see, but that high compliance design, I, I don't know, I've never seen that written anywhere. 
Well, how lucky is this? Posted 16 days ago in Toronto. Excellent quality. Want. Sell. Fast. Quick cash. Both speakers are new in the original box. Oh man, they don't have a photo of the box, do they? Thanks to the Google related photos here, I got a breakthrough. I found a photo of the box. Look at this. Got the classic made in USA. It looks like a sticker. Fine quality loudspeaker system made in the USA, of course. I really wonder what the heck it says on the side. Oh, uh, North Oak, something Oak, and Ebony. Max recommended power, 250 watts. That just, I don't get it. Maximum recommended. I haven't hit that electric overload protection yet, but uh, we might. We might have to disable it. really wonder what else it said on the box here. It might have actually been like an address of some company that didn't exist. I'll have to put this photo album in the credits. That's a really cool find. They claim they can go down to 26 hertz, right? So let's just go ahead and uh, give that a try. <laughs> hmm. Oh, turn the amp on, of course. I'm like, does not even make any noise. At 26. <laughs> Let's try this 26 hertz. Whoa. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm, it's just like in that time I started smelling speaker coil. Like a lot of it. It blew at me from the ports there. <laughs> it made a lot of noise, but well. I mean, if I were to turn it to the other frequencies at that point, it would probably deafen me. Yeah, I almost blew them up. You hear so much port turbulence and man, that was kind of funny. <laughs> but no, they do not play 26 hertz. That's ridiculous. Oh man. <laughs> okay, I'm just being mean here. 10 hertz. Let's try 15. You ever hear them whistle? 20. All right, give me 30 hertz, come on. Kinda hitting 30. But again, you have to give them stupid amount of power and you're almost burning these coils out. I can really smell the glue melting. These are the ones where the plastic sort of melts around the coil. And uh, that's, that might be what I gotta just let them cool down because they just melt. I'm just really curious here, 35 hertz. Yeah, not too bad, 40. That's more like it. A little something. <laughs> Still, just horrible bass response, so. I'm gonna go to 55. I like how they put the cover and the driver on in the same screws. It's not too bad the uh, size of the magnet on these though. Is it the same magnet? I think so. So taking the screws out for the woofer, I noticed that they're all stripped out. As in, you take them out and, well, look. Look at how these are our woofer now check this out here when I was undoing the screws the wood is so bad that uh, the screws that they put in here was actually just totally stripped right through and they weren't actually gripping anything there's our woofer just a touch of thin insulation and a very basic crossover in there I thought I'd be able to get it off <laughs> I 
I mean, the parts aren't that bad, like a one and a half inch coil on here. I was gonna disconnect that circuit breaker, but they typically only trip when you're distorting stuff. And I got a bunch of clean power here. I'm sure I'm gonna be blowing these up before any distortion. Dun it, dun it, dun it, dun it, nan it, nan it. <laughs> it's a letter opener. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, dude, I put my finger in the inside the coil to see if it was warm, and I freaking felt like I burnt myself. I have the freaking treble like all the way down. I'm gonna turn the bass up now, I suppose. Crazy how inefficient these are. I can sure smell them heating up, but we got uh, no problems yet. So I'm gonna flatten the signal out here and try to blow the tweeters. Bass all the way down, mid range up, high frequency up, got the Bluetooth ear protection. <laughs> Wow, that's intense. <laughs> oh man, you can really smell these coils. That's incredible. So far, all these tweeters and mid-range drivers are still in working order. Just insane. Man, that was loud. I wonder if this has the distortion detection on or whatever. Almost, I feel like I need to uh, use a smaller amp and have like a bunch of distortion to pop those tweeters. It's probably just gonna explode the uh, crossover capacitor in there before anything else. That's usually what happens with these really powerful amps. The port shook out.
pretty damn impressive, man. I'm really curious about that, like, limiter or whatever, if it's on. I think it was on. <laughs> We're puffing smoke here. <laughs> I think we're just down to the tweeters now. Oh man, a lot of smoke in there. <laughs> yeah, just full of smoke in there. Oh man. Let's see how low this mid-range can go, starting off at 100. Oh, geez, that actually scared me. I turned it up a little too quick. <laughs> so 100 hertz, <laughs> fried it. Oh my, it's like a little volcano. Oh, crunchy. Try a tweeter. <laughs> and it just stopped, I think. Yeah. <laughs> That one wasn't as exciting. Oh, oh my, what the heck? Oh, that's awful, that sound. I can hear, I can see a zap, like, right here it's arcing out. I think that's what's creating that noise, oh my god. Ugh, quit that. Let's get this other tweeter while we're here.
For some reason, this last driver is not working at all. I thought it was going crazy. Let me try it on another speaker. It's funny. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there we go. Nice and toasty. Oh yeah, just fried. Let's see if I can get it. Oh yeah, <laughs> love when they're just uh, baked enough that you can pull that piece of cardboard out. Just in with a piece of. Well, I guess there's a little piece of plastic in there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's fried. Look at this thing. Well, I guess that's about all we can do with these things. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have yourself a great day.